If you don't have a Valentine's dessert planned, listen up, folks, because we have something very special for you. Russ Wheeler, who is the pastry chef at the Palace Restaurant in the Cincinnati Hotel, is here with this flourless chocolate cake recipe. And here's some good news. The ingredient list is short. There's only a few steps, which is the best way to do anything, I believe. Russ, thanks a lot for coming in. Thanks for having me. This is like a four-star dessert that we're going to get to learn really easily. It's a great dessert. Uh, very simple. Just three ingredients. Three? Okay. So now, now I'm in all the way. What do we do? All right. First, we've got uh, our eggs. Mm -hmm. Eight eggs. Uh, and you whip these to what we call full volume. So it takes about six or eight minutes just on high and let that go until they're nice and frothy. And I got to tell you straight up, we did this for six or eight minutes <laughs> before we started this and it's, it's loud. So we're glad, you're glad that we didn't, but that's what you want to look like. It's almost like it looks like whipped orange juice at this point. <laughs> that's it? a good description, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so there you go. So that, look, right so nice there and in foamy. the camera. Yeah. There we go. Nice and foamy. Okay, so then six, eight, wait, eight eggs? How many eggs? Eight eggs. Eight eggs. For six minutes. For six minutes. Okay. And, and then, then over there, we've got melted a pound of chocolate. All right. And I got to ask you about this chocolate. What kind of chocolate do you like to use? This is beautiful. Uh, we use so a few cute. different kinds. Uh, for something like this, we use a really nice chocolate, like Valrona. Uh, with this, like you said, it's uh, uh, just using a few ingredients. So you really want to make use the best chocolate you can get. Okay, but we're going to grocery stores. So what would you suggest? Like a Girardelli? Girardelli, yeah, that's probably your best choice. At a, a is it like 60% or? Uh, this is a 65%. 65% um, cocoa. Yeah, cow. if you like it uh, more bittersweet, you can go with a higher percentage. Or all right, all right, that's really good. And uh, we only have a minute left, but I gotta say, this double, double boiler idea he did, this is awesome. He just took a rice cooker, put water in it, put it on low. It's awesome. So we're just going to fold this in, and it's also in the chocolate. There's also eight ounces of egg, or uh, I'm sorry, eight ounces of butter. In the chocolate. In with melted in with the chocolate. Okay. And we're just going to fold this all together. That's really. Let me get this out of your way so people can see. Put that on. <laughs> Look at it this. It just takes a minute, and at this point, if you want, you can fold in all sorts of other ingredients. You can. So put in. you can make it as few ingredients as you want, or you could add in what would you, you can add, add in? in raspberries. You could add in. Uh, you could add in like a raspberry puree. Cinnamon? You could add, put in any kind of s spices. Uh, we right now at the uh, palace, we have this on the menu with uh, some roasted poblano peppers in it. Ooh, it's yeah, very, very some nice. chilies would be good. And then, you, what pan do you? Does it? You have two pans here. What's yep. What we're going to do? You want to bake it in a water bath. Oh. So we're going to pour it into one cake pan. That's easy enough. Is that like Just an 8-inch like round, something like that? Yeah. And then put it into a slightly larger water bath. And then you put water, water yeah. in, in here. your pan. Fill that up with water. Put it in your oven. Mm -hmm. About 325 degrees for about a half an hour. And you end half up with that. Half an hour. Look at this. This is beautiful. And it, so it's flourless. So if you have a gluten allergy it's all as well. gluten free, yep. That's awesome. And then you're gonna, we're going gonna to finish that up while I tell you guys this, that this recipe is on WCPO.com. It is something that you can do at home. And I know that I, I'm going to try this because I like to bake. I like chocolate. My kids like chocolate. And so we don't who like doesn't chocolate. like chocolate? I don't know, but those people who don't are blessed because they don't have the waistline, you know, <laughs> issues. Oh, now it's going oh, to be stuck. But that's okay. Go to wcpo.com, learn how to do it, and the recipe's right there for you. Russ, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh